Yo, so once there was a king named Midas, and he loved gold. And uh, there was this god of wine and stuff called Dionysus, and he was passing through the kingdom. And uh, one of his guys was a satyr named Silenus. And Silenus got mad, tired, and decided to take a nap. And then uh, when he woke up, he was like, yo, where the fuck am I? And King Midas was there, and he was like, yo, what's good? You're in my rose garden. I'll help you back to Dionysus. Uh, so Midas takes Silenus back to Dionysus, and he's mad happy. So he's like, yo, thanks for bringing back my dude. I'm going to give you one wish. So Midas was like, I want everything I touch to turn to gold. And Dionysus was like, blam, you got it, it's done. So the next day, Midas woke up, and now he has gold-touching powers. So uh, he went up to the table to test it out, and when he touched the table, it turned to gold. So he kept touching more stuff, like he touched a chair, a door, his sink, his cock, and they all turned into gold, just like he wished. Uh, so then he went to his dinner table to eat breakfast, and he was mad excited to eat, because they were having like pancakes or something. So when he sat down to eat, he grabbed this fork that turned to gold, and then when the food touched his tongue, it turned to gold, so he couldn't eat it. And he's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. So you're telling me I can't eat without it turning to gold either? And then his wife's like, yo, don't fucking touch me, bro. I'm not trying to turn it to gold. And he's like, yo, wow, like I can't even fuck my wife now because she's going to turn it to gold. And uh, then he goes to drink some water and the water goes down his throat and turns it to gold. He's like, yo, like what is this shit, bro? Like that's my neck. That's not my hands. Like I didn't say when I eat shit, it turns it to gold. Like you almost killed me, bro. What is this shit? And then like as if things couldn't get worse, his daughter came in. And she goes to give him a high five and he's like, no, I can't do it. But his daughter's like, come on, dad, like, you're really going to leave me hanging? I thought you were my dad, not a little bitch. So he high fives her and then when he touches her hand, she turns it to gold. And he's like, oh no, what have I done? All that I love has turned to gold. Someone please help me. And then Dionysus pops out of nowhere. And he's like, I hope you learned your lesson uh, from your greed. That was a stupid wish, but I feel bad for you. So go to the river and wash your hands. And then when you do it, you'll lose your powers. So King Midas goes to the river and does what he was told. And then when he gets out, he feels his powers go away. So uh, he went to go touch a tree to test it out, and it didn't turn into gold. So then he ran home excited, and when he got to the castle, everything that was turned to gold, including his daughter, turned back to not gold. Uh, and that's the end. So the moral of the story is that he shouldn't have been greedy. He should have thought it through, made a list of rules, and added loopholes so he could like turn rocks into gold, but not people and food. Uh, so yeah, that's the story of King Midas. Thanks for watching. Bye.